So if you with somebody, man or woman, and all they can do is fuck you and feed you till you out of shape, then when your ass don't feel good about yourself no more and they leave your ass, they don't really care about you. They care about the moment. You got to live with you for a long ass motherfucking time. So if somebody love you, they'll go walking with your ass. They'll take your ass for a motherfucking walk. They'll be like, I love you, baby. Let's go for a walk. Some people only get along in the bedroom. It's almost like if they not in the bedroom, then they ain't getting along. It's like my man, Lord Jamar said. Lord Jamar from, from Brand Nubian. He said, he, he said, it seemed like the only time we're not in the fight is when I'm loving her right. But when I tell her get off the swine and get refined, she act like she blind and then lost her damn mind. Yo, Lord Jamar, my props to Lord Jamar. Ah, ah. You gotta love me and leave me alone. And some people don't even know how to love themselves. So, so if a person can't love themselves, they can't love you. I'm not a philosopher. I don't know shit. But I'm but because I don't know anything, I'm able to listen and learn. And I missed I missed the brand new being joined. And I'm just gonna say I'm glad everybody is still, you know what I'm saying, on the planet. You know? You know, um, Lord Jamar, Derek X, Sadat X, motherfucking Grand Pooba, and DJ Alamo! Man, nobody can beat you but you. Nobody can beat you. Man, the DJs never got props, yo. And I'm going to tell you, uh, and now I don't want to go into it because I'm, I'm going to say something wrong and I ain't going to mean to. But damn it, Terminator X? Man, hey, I bought the Valley of the Jeep Beats album. I bought that shit, actually. Hey, I bought that shit, man. I bought, that, I bought the tape. The tape that had the goddamn blue lettering on it with the fucking gray background. I bought that shit, man. I bought that motherfucker. And I enjoyed it. Because homie don't play that. And the rest of them songs, oh my God. And just to be honest, I bought the MC8. The, the, the fucking, no, it, 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 it was Countless Most Woman at CMW. I bought that shit that year, too. With the goddamn, um, the DJ Mike T. The DJ Mike T with the DJ. Man, I'm going to tell you. If you had a banging DJ, you could be a... I'm, and look, I don't want to say nothing stupid. But if you had a banging DJ, you could be a whack rapper. I'm just saying. And I'm going to say this too. I'm going to say this too. Don't kill me. I know. You'd be like, we found Ken with a motherfucking cassette on his body and shit. But between like... And, and he ain't the only one. It's a lot of people out there that were, that were awesome. You know what I'm saying? They had good DJs. But I mean, the first double album did not come from Biggie Smalls. And the only reason I'm saying that is because Biggie ain't here. He probably killed me too. The first double album came from Pete Rock and Seal Smooth. Oh my God. Them motherfuckers, boy. Y'all better get y'all shit right. I'll tell you right now, I got money for the I got money for the next motherfucking CD album right motherfucking now. Right now. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> right now. But all I'm saying is that, you know what I'm saying? All I'm saying is, you know what I'm saying? That's just something funny. All, <laughs> all I'm saying is that, um, I'm, I, hey, I'm going to, hey, I'm just saying. That's all I'm saying. I don't mean no harm. Peace, peace. He got in my goddamn video. No one gets in my goddamn video. Let me go. He can try to talk to me. Watch this shit.